So yo, what's up guys? In today's video, we have a PSA return. So yeah, we got this little box and this longer box here. Big shout out to Trust Grading. Just picked these up at like 1 a.m. in the morning and I just caught back and straight away, we're gonna get revealing it. Cause you know, I ain't waiting till the morning to open these. So let's get in and see what's inside. Yeah, hopefully there's some good stuff because I did get nine up charges. So up charges when PSA uh, charge a little bit more for the next service level because of the value. Obviously, you gotta remember bulk value is only, um, what you call it, $200, which in, in like realistically, it's not that much. But most of the time, a lot of stuff slide. Like I rarely get up charges on cards worth over 200 on bulk. Rarely, rarely. Uh, unless they're like big, big cards, like ponchos I've had up charges on when I'm on the higher services to the next higher bulk. And it only got up charged like 10 pound a piece or like seven pound a piece or something like that. So I, I'm really intrigued to see what is in here. What is getting up charge? Because it's not massive, but yeah. And honestly, I can't remember what I said as well. So that's why I'm so curious to see what's in here. So yeah, that's all the slabs. We've got about 50 slabs. But yeah, 50 cards here. Little one here. Honestly, again, I forgot what I sent. I've already just grabbed a bunch of cards to kind of send to him just so we can get like a little return video. We've got loads of stuff coming back and loads of stuff. There over like three, 400 cards out at the moment. So make sure to like, subscribe guys. But we're starting off with Roaring Skies Rayquaza. So this one would have been in like my binder collection, not the mintest, but you know, these cards impossible to get 10. But yeah, I was hoping at eight on that. So definitely take an eight because whatever price I would have paid back then or whatever it was worth back then is definitely worth a lot more now with that eight. Uh, but yeah, these are all like binder cards that I would have had in the collection when I collected early on. And I thought obviously kind of now they are worth grading. Obviously tens are big premiums in black and white next like Some of them can be pop, like two digit pops in tens. Eight again, but beautiful one there. Ho-Ho from Breakpoint. Don't think that one's too expensive, but a lot of double digit, uh, what you call it? Um, a lot of double digit pops, but here we go. This is not a full up, but a ultra rare, secret rare gold. So this is the one with the gold writing. So that is the secret, as you can tell. 113 out 111 out of Furious Fist. We got an eight there. So your eight isn't too bad. So we'll take it, we'll take it. Nice little eight. All right, is this something to go with it? Oh no, not quite, but Gengar EX Phantom Forces. So y'all had this for a while. Yo, KB just picked up a nice one on eBay through my YouTube members Discord. Uh, he picked up a really decent, probably better condition than this. And this one got a six. Oh, if I knew this was a six, I would have bought that one on eBay. Because that one on eBay was going to get like eight, which would have made like three extra money. But yeah, six, man. Oh, you know what? Oh, crazy. Crazy, crazy. Six there. Okay, starting off six. Don't look bad. It's a nice, nice six. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, we'll take it. We'll take it. We've got Reggie Steel here. Eight. So again, these are all like binder cards that kind of dash at the end of the submission. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, it's not the mins of sort cards, but I feel like may as well get them as long as that. I was I'm not hoping six, I wouldn't grade for sixes, of course. Dep obviously, depending on the card, but obviously, I was hoping like eights and above's kind of wouldn't mind in these, but not a Drachi Plasma Blast seven. So yeah, I've graded two. Well, yeah, I graded two nines or had two nines, and this is a seven. So I thought I'd kind of throw this one in here as well. So boom, and obviously, if you want to have a detailed look at the backs to kind of when you are grading your stuff. Uh, and have a look what what gets eight what gets a seven what gets a six then use the cert to my submissions and kind of look on the psa website for a better look so you can kind of um, gauge conditions when you're over at card shows and stuff like that but who we've got the ultra rare what a secret rare gengar not a good okay this isn't that, that this was terrible to be fair i just kind of sent it in there kind of thrown at the end but this one i would expect like six seven and the other one at least eight but uh, okay not so good on the this is again this is just stuff i kind of threw in there and again this is something i threw in there i love these cards i don't know if they're worth grading i don't know if they're much money in tens but yeah hopefully tens anyways otherwise definitely worth nothing but i love the deoxys espion i thought i'd grade it because i haven't really graded much of these sort of cards with psa so i feel like they're not worth grading uh but i think it's pretty cool to get encapsulated so i kind of sent that another one oh, oh i can see the centering top short for sure so oh all right so that might be first in the selling pile you know first in the selling pile see so yeah, i don't want a nine in that but oh, i would have bought it 
when I bought this, this would have been like like a ten pound, twenty pound card back then. But yeah, for now we'll put in a nine pile. Nine. Oh, we got eight. Oh <laughs> no, nine pile. Yeah, that might be the first one we're gonna be selling out this lot. But a lot of Gengars tonight. But oh, Pidgeot. I was hoping it's a ten. This is just, these X Y ones. I mean, oh look, I got the. You see the like PSA like squared dots. Why this? Why? Oh my God! Look at this corner as well. Uh, Pidgeot Evolutions Gem Mint 10 there, so I'll take it, I'll take it. But yeah, these usually printed well, but it's just got that PSA rubbish on there. And if anyone really wants a strong 10, then it's not great, right? Hopefully it's just been that one. But yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's not take too long with this. Oh, nice slow king. I don't know why I sent this off, unless it was super, super clean. Mine, you know what? That is a beautiful artwork. Shout out to him and I. Oh, uh, but yo, that artwork is pretty, pretty nice. Mint nine there, and yeah, let's go. I didn't even know I sent this off, so I'll take it. I'll take it. I think I might have bought it at one of the card shows and just kind of submitted it there and then. Oh, slow king, banger, brother. Okay. But oh yes, I think it could be collector clash submission. I think maybe. But yo, look at this. This is pretty cool. Marowak and an eight. So your eight is not bad for this era and obviously if you don't know with the delta reverse hollows they have this like gold border which is sick so really stands out makes it special look at the way it's shining there really really nice oh salamance oh salamance reverse foil gem in 10 this does look super mint, but where did I buy it? <sighs> Four quid regardless. What, what grab that. that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Guys, if you watch my recent videos, where have I bought this card? Raw. I'll have to look through some lists, but oh, wow. Because Karim said, message, the message him after I see the return, because I think he might want this. Honestly, this is like one of my childhood favorite cards. I have a nine. I don't know where I got the nine from, maybe a previous return. But I absolutely love this card. And to get the reverse foil in a 10? Oh, gee, gee. What? Honestly, I, I remember this one. I semi forgot that one. Semi forgot this one. Again, guys, I just gather some stuff to kind of send to him. And I haven't been sending a lot of this sort of stuff recently, just because I want to send the best of the best ones I have. But, yeah, we need to find some more of that, man. Really need to find some more of that. But, yo, ooh, I might know where I got these from. So, yeah, I'm going to try and find some more of that. But we got the Flygon Reverse Foil. Eight. Yo, at least we got an eight, because I hadn't graded one of these before. And it got a six. So, at least we got a better one here. So, very, very nice. Let's go. Okay, next up. Oh, Misty's Tears. Ah. Hmm. Eight. So, eight in a Misty's Tears. So, okay. Very intrigued to see what we got next. Oh, this might be the collection from one of my friends now. So, let's see what we got here, guys. Ten on the Charizard. Off the grading, probably five of these now. I graded ones that I had in the files. Fresh from files. Multiple fresh out files. Uh, even the ones I bought when they were 20 quid. And we finally got a 10. Finally got the 10. So yeah, that chase is over. So we'll take that. 10 there. Okay. Now we're getting some good stuff. Chansey base set hollow, guys. 8. But 1996 base set Chansey. So my boy had a vintage Japanese collection. I think his sister's friend had this crazy collection back in the day. And then he bought it. And then he stopped collecting and sold it to me. But this card is honestly immaculate. Someone does some, you know, <laughs> fix in the NS will be lit. But look at the edges. Look at the corners. It's honestly, I can't see what's wrong with it. It must be surface, which, you know, most people do a thing or two to get that fixed. But yeah, I won't do that, man. But yeah, let's go. But honestly, that card looks perfect. I wonder what it is. But for alligator with a swirl. Eight again. I reckon a surface. A lot of this might be surface because it's gonna be like childhood binder where they're unsleeved. They they might pack their fresh, but maybe the surface has like surface scratches. So I can see like a smudge on the card. So I reckon a surface on a lot of these are gonna let it down a little bit. So we've got an eight there, but again, 
could be fixed if you want to fix it, but Pichu's now. Seven on the Pichu. Oof. Not great, not great. Okay, I do see a crease in the corner of that one. So that one makes sense. And this is not the arrow one. So the arrow one has like, you see this big blob of text. Obviously I can't read that Japanese, but that's how I recognize it, this blob one. So if it has that one, it's uh, error. And then the corrected is a more limited version. So yeah, Pichu there, there we go, seven. Oof. Nine, okay, nine is cool. Nine is pretty cool there. So Pichu nine with a swell. I do have first edition uh, Pichu, which I got off my boy Patrick, shout out to him. Meganium six. Oof. Oof. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna find anything here. But again, these cards look immaculate, like packed fresh. It's the thing about grading, man. I can't wait to see what my Japanese stuff get, but this is obviously a local bought stuff. And unfortunately, I don't know what it got why it got six, but yeah, please look at the scans, guys, and do let me know why you got these grades. But, yo, we got a six there. Not going great, not going great. Base set Charizard in at eight. The highest base set Charizard grade I've ever got. I think the highest one, vintage-wise. Like, sub Watsy English. I have, like, Blaine's Charizard 9, Japanese. But base set Charizard-wise, like, base set one, base set two, legendary. All of them are like sub five, at least sub six, you know. So an eight is pretty sick. And this is my boy with the same collection as these Japanese um, vintage. Yeah, Japanese and English as well. And yo, the Zard got an eight. I'm surprised, to be honest. So yo, the back is really nice, to be fair. So no wonder I held on to this. I did hold on to this, luckily. So glad to get an eight. But I feel like today we do have a fair grade, obviously. As you've seen, sometimes you create with PSA. You get cards that look like 8s and 7s. Get 10s. Shout out to my boy Amir. Um, but yeah, he had a crazy return. But yeah, you got to be lucky on the grader sometimes, obviously. Then you know if you, the, the, um, if you get like a weak 10 or a strong 10 or whatever. But yeah, like so a lot of this on a good day could slide 10s. But not this one, but I'm like saying like this sort of stuff. But yeah, let's go. Let's go into Staff Prime. We've got the Feraligator and the Gemmin 10. Let's go. I absolutely love this card, man. The artwork is amazing. So, I love to see that. I love to see that beautiful card there. Oh, oh, shout out to Amir again. I pulled this in his dip box probably like the week when I was submitting this um, to Trust. And I thought, let me just grade this. And we got a nine, which isn't too bad. Shout out to Amir. Because I think I pulled a floor as well. This is a floor, but it wasn't too bad. You got a little speck there. So, it's kind of, I can see now, like, What's all like? Cause I bought a lot of stuff similar condition in Japan. So spec like that, still getting nines is good, you know. It's still good. So obviously, if you bought stuff from me, we have a lot of Nim into mint stuff, amount of stuff on our whatnot stream. So check it out. So yeah, big shout out to me for that one. This Pikachu Rising Rivals. Yeah, I was hoping eight for this. These are kind of standard to get eight. Like you just look at the corners. Um, yeah, beautiful one. I don't know how I've been wanting one of these for time finally got one this is like the Rita art the original base set but like I want a version like the Stormfront Charizard for example but yeah beautiful eight there not many tens not happy days for tens but oh I think I packed this recently I thought I'd submit it and we got a Gemini 10 there that's pretty sick yeah Steam Siege tends to have the cheaper ones like, oh look you see that on the, the surface those are like that's like print floors and I thought oh it's not gonna get a 10 let me just send it anyways because the corners were beautiful as you saw uh, so we got a 10 there. We'll take that though. X, Y, full art 10. Or Rayquaza. Now these ones, I would have got pressure out the pack. Nine. nine on the Rayquaza. Pokey part, guys. So yeah, unfortunately, we got a nine. Do see one little speck on here. But again, like we've seen floors over there that get the 10. But yo, should be another Pokey Park. Jirachi and the German 10. So you'll love the Pokey Park. Just unique artworks, exclusive artworks to the Japanese. You got a little Pokey Park. And it's pretty cool. Like something from like a theme Pokemon theme park back in the day. <laughs> was this was available there and and then now you got it encapsulate you know it's pretty cool like just cool stuff cool memorabilia cool cool collectible 
uh, and they're not too expensive. You can buy sealed promos, not that much, like 20, 30 quid, depending which one. There's a Lugia one, which goes for a little bit more. And you've got the file ones as well. But Entei, my lucky day. At least these hit tens. At least these hit tens. We got the Entei in a 10. So, again, first time I think I've got this one in a 10. So, we'll take that. Let's go. All right, Entei, I bought this one in Japan. So, it's not from the collection nine so oof oof chat so yeah this one i would have paid 8k i don't think there was a floor in it so i bought it like presuming it'd be mint but online when you buy mint from japan i feel like you get like a it's nine or ten you know mint's never gem mint 10 so uh or like um condition a or something like that you know so nine there we'll take it Hopefully it's not too long of video, but yo, we're breezing through this. We got the Reggie Ice EX. I think we got a nine before, and we got the ten now. Let's go. So again, I would have paid high for this, like big premium on these, just buying them online uh, in mint condition. Obviously, join my YouTube membership Discord. Obviously, I have links to releases, restocks, and Japanese stores for single cards. And yo, Dialga, mint ten. So yo, let's go, let's go. Love to see that beautiful Dialga there. Another one to the collection, unlimited. Uh, if they do come in first on edition or not, I don't know. Shout out to Leo. Leo, let me know. Eight. So we got the eight Holland Phantoms there. So you're beautiful. One of my favorite uh, Delta species again. Love it. All the Ladios, Ladias ones. So yeah, beautiful eight there. Eight's not bad. We'll take it. We'll take it. Greninja. Gem in 10. So y'all remember this from, from my self bridges video. Uh, we pulled it in a tin. By like Masquerade. I haven't opened much, but oh my god. <laughs> we just pulled the most expensive card from Scarlet and Violet and then I pulled it I mean I pulled that in the tin and I bought in that video and I, w I was just like I was like, it's kind of like a throwaway video I was like oh I'm here let me make a little long form video uh, bought a tin bought a mini tin bought some stuff to open for a video and I pulled one of the best cards or well, the most expensive Scarlet and Violet card right now uh, this about well, I think actually Charizard's being that Charizard's like seven hundred dollars now. This about it was six hundred and ten dollars, maybe five hundred now. So that one will sell. <laughs> That's selling that for sure. As much as Greninja is cool, five hundred dollars. I want that back. All right, so KB hooked it up with this one, Reggie Steel EX. Have a look at the back. It isn't too bad. It isn't too bad, and. Oh my god, we got first vintage EX in a gem mint 10. So yeah, big big shout out to KB because he bought this and before it arrived, he said yo hook me up because I was actually gonna buy it from that store. I told him and then he's like, Oh, I'll hook you up. And when it came, they were super clean. But he said he, he agreed to the hook me up and he stuck to his words. So shout out to him. And we hit a 10. I don't know what I paid. It would have been I probably 10x what I paid from him. So shout out to KB for this one. This is definitely staying in collection because you know Reggie Steele's my favorite Reggie. I don't know why. If you look at them all, he probably looks the worst, but I don't know why. I just like Reggie Steele the most. And this is sick, man. We've got the Shattered Ice, EX Hidden Legends, Gem Mint 10. And yeah, big shout out to KB. GG's on that cop as well. He got the Reggie Ice from the same collection. And um, yeah, 10 as well. So go check out his PSA return. It is on his channel. Oh, celebrations. Okay, these are we've been cracking some of these classic collection boxes. Because I've been saying this in previous videos. You crack the box, you can get these boxes now for like 2250. The Charizard's 2250 alone. So you get the Charizard in the 10, the whole box is paid for. You got hundreds of hollow singles for free if you can get the Charizard in the 10. So we got loads of singles for free now. We've been selling this one, etc. So boom, Charizard uh, classic collection. We did trade one off in uh Wembley card show. The cards convention Wembley, but a nine on the Venusaur again. We've had a nine before on these nine on the Blastoise. So, yo, we got lucky to scrape a 10 there, but that's the gamble because they're English print quality stuff, like it's not easy 10. So, but to be fair, I'll tell I'll tell you, I've opened three of them now. Um, and of all the chairs that I've got 10, so we'll take it, we'll take it. But Empoleon Plasma Freeze. English traded this off in New Jersey Collector Con. How's the Empoleon condition? Uh, you can take a look. Yeah, all right, appreciate it. So the Festa plus 30 for the Empoleon. That's probably my only PC piece this weekend. So yeah, we'll take it, we'll take it.
It was kind of like an impulse one. I traded off a Festa 2014 Festa Pikachu, which are quite spendy on their own right, but it isn't like a minty one. I was in that card for like £100, so I said if I trade it, a little, it was like $20 on top. I'm in this for like £110, £115, whatever. Oh, 777. I have sevens that look worse than this. I have the seven Garchomp, which is literally dent to this one. I was hoping could scrape an eight because an eight value is like 150. Uh, I think that he had sticker price maybe like 200 on this. So unfortunately, a seven one card I really wanted for a long time. Finally got it and it got a seven, unfortunately. So we'll take it, we'll take it. Obviously, we'll try and upgrade it in the future. Uh, RIP my Festa that went for it. But yo, let's go. Got a nine on the Alakazam. So these ones, just cool. I always throw in these 151. One. If I ever pull them, I always grade them. I never really sell my SALs that I pull. So kept that. Oh, Aerodactyl nine. No way. Japanese is killing me. So again, these ones. The Japanese, this. The Ray, so from the Japanese store, A Condition, you have the Jirachi Rayquaza Poke Parks, the Entei Hollow, and this, and all uh, like A uh, Minty Condition. Uh, well, currently, ratio is 25% 10 ratio. So, again, this doesn't guarantee you a 10 when you buy mint from Japan, you know. So, obviously, you got stuff like centering and stuff. I don't know if this one did have a flaw. Oh, yeah, this one had like a rough top, to be fair. So, it was fair. I got bumped. I'm gonna lose money on that, but yeah, please take off my hand. Aerodactyl, boy for the PC, if you grade 10, I'll be kept. Ooh, 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 another one of these. Oh, this is Marie's one. And these have gone up to like $700 right now. So yeah, GG Marie, GG. Uh, so yeah, that'll probably be gone out on the card show. Alakazam, did I buy one of KB? Oh, if I bought one of KB, RIP to me. Uh, Cause I paid like hundred pound from him. Oh, okay, we got nine. Oh my God, this is killing me. Killing me, man. Yeah, I'm gonna stop buying them online from that store now. <laughs> but yeah, we're at like 20% ratio tens out of five, one out of five ratio on ten. So I'm just keeping track of this ratio. Is it worth even buying? Because obviously, when you buy from like Japanese stores online, it's a premium, especially for vintage in A condition. Uh, sometimes better off just going yourself to Japan. As you see with our video series, we're currently in Japan. Well, we was currently in Japan not long ago. I have like about five plus videos coming out from going all over Japan, buying cards, buying singles. And yeah, hopefully you guys check it out. But we've got another Charizard Incorrect Hollow. And oh my God, this one got a nine. So, oof, GG, GG. So, unfortunately nine on this. I had two tens. This is the nine. So, yeah, I don't know why this would have got a nine. This was actually pretty decent. But yeah, I think we've got a pretty fair or harshish grader. Uh, so I'm not doing too great, but oh, this one's pretty cool. This one I picked up in uh, when I was in the USA. We're just doing a straight trade. So about 190 in singles for PSA 9 Tag Bolt Mimikyu. About uh, 170 right yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, New Jersey. It was New Jersey. Yeah, it was New Jersey. This was a trade night video and I just traded for it. But an eight, I was presuming an eight. Definitely for an eight for sure. With all the specs it's got but i'm surprised how many specs it gets an eight though like that's a lot a lot of edge wear to get eight uh whereas english edge uh, to get an eight is pretty difficult so yeah japanese i feel like a bit lenient to get eights and stuff but yeah pretty cool card i probably won't keep it want to get this one in a 10 it is so sick though look at it pretty pretty cool so we'll take that all right oh i have no idea what this is okay Oh, Typhlosion Hollow. Let's see what we got here. Oh my god. Expedition Typhlosion Hollow. In a Gem Mint 10. Bruh. GG. Yo, I don't even know where I got this from. But yo, I must have bought it at one of the card shows. It probably looked mint. I just picked it up. So yeah, well, you always got to check your cards, but yo, Typhlosion Hollow, 10, GG chat, GG. All right, next up. Ooh, oh, I bought a Sunday card show. Yes, I would have submitted this day one on the card show. Um, So I think I picked this up. I saw it there, it was pretty cool, but nine, unfortunately, on the Umbreon EX World Champions deck. So yeah, it's coming to me now. I remember submitting this to him. So there we go, there we go, we got eight there. So, boom. Again, probably an L. I probably paid like 60 for it, I think. Uh, but, oh, body error. I bought this one on eBay. It's like the nearest mintest body error I've ever seen. 
hard to come by in like near mint condition. It always comes bad. But body error is when it says pokey body here, where it should be pokey power. We'll use another EX for example. Uh, so it should be when it's red, it should be red pokey power. So when it's pokey body, it's attacking green. But eight, you know what? I presumed eight on this, so I'll take that. Take that. Obviously, if we could go a nine, that would be amazing. But it's cool to see. I was gonna save this for CGC, but I'll check PSA's pop report. They do acknowledge this error. So yeah, if you do have any, just send them in, man. Uh, regardless of the condition, because the error is not. I think they only established the error recently, so the pop's kind of lowish. But obviously, there'll be errors graded in the original one without the error acknowledgement, because they'll be before it, they acknowledged it. If that makes sense. But oh, Dawn Front a seven, so Fuji is seven there. Such a sick level X again, but yo, we'll take it, we'll take it. Boom. Oh, nine. I'll definitely take a nine on this one. So I think some of this is New Jersey purchases, maybe. So we got like Shadowless. That's an error symbol. Lots of free cards. I found free cards of the pile. Uh, but yeah, level X's, primes, EX's, and stuff. And then at the end, some near mint for the personal collection. I'll try and grade them. Uh, I, I probably bought some of these already. I don't know how many I bought. Oh, yeah, this would be New Jersey because obviously uh, the Empoli on there. Because that, I would have grade that straight away. See, I remember picking one of these up. But yo, not bad again. This was super clean. Hope a 10 maybe on a good day. On a good day. Uh, but yeah, Metagross 9 will definitely take that because, you know, 10s on those sort of stuff is hard. Ooh, Medicham 9 again. So again, this was. Uh, pretty near mint, so I thought I'd grab that as well. And yeah, not bad again. Oh, some stuff on the surface, but we'll take it. I'll take it, that's slip nine. All right, let's go, let's go. Lugia. Oh, I was hoping a 10 on this. So I have like one in a PSA 8.5. Such an odd grade, but you know, this sort of stuff, I think it's just surface. You see, you can see the scratches there. I knew these scratches and surface stuff was there, but I just kind of threw it in there, you know. Um, but yeah, obviously on a good day, that could have definitely, definitely 10. So yeah, 9 there. Oh, 9 powers bigger, but obviously a lot of vintage here. And Umbreon. Ooh! Ooh, poopy swell Umbreon. Gem mint 10 there. So yo, love to see that. Let's go. Wow, the amount of awesome vintage 10 today i love a variety oh my god shout out to kb on that one as well but the variety in today's return is absolutely insane actually yeah just a mixture of stuff really stuff i could just grab latest pickups at the time kind of thing really well obviously big shout out to kb for that reggie still because obviously he hooked me up when he once it came and he knew it could have been gentlemen still hooked me up on it so big shout out to him absolute legend but also big shout out to trust grading best middleman in the uk in my opinion they absolute legend Good friend of mine and yeah shout out to him always let me pick it up at 1 a.m uh, and then i'm doing a return video till 2 a.m uh so big shout out to him but uh yeah that is today's return if you want to see more guys make sure to like and subscribe for more psa returns like i said it's hundreds of cards currently out there just waiting for them to come back in obviously with ace psa uh and yeah if you want to see more make sure to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace